Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1 on this cold January day. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. I recently did a video about California's new exhaust law and uh, a lot of comments and I'll address those in a minute, but what I thought I might do is I have the Fairmont here outside. Now there's a little bit of snow on the ground and snow can absorb sound, so it might not be the most accurate test, but really there's not a lot. It's, it's just a dusting of snow. But what I want to do is I want to start the Fairmont up. I have a decibel meter and I'm going to take a decibel reading. Now the California law states from 20 feet away, 95 decibels is the maximum. Now I have an exhaust cut out on the Fairmont and I have the exhaust run through a very good muffler from Walker. I'll link that down in the description. I thought I would do one test with the uh, going through the muffler and another test where it is the exhaust cut out just to sort of do a comparison and see what it is, what 95 decibels looks like or something more. But at idle, 20 feet away is supposedly the test. And we'll talk about the rest of that in a second. But let's start the Fairmont up and see what we get as far as reading. Now I have warmed this up. I have a single exhaust that comes out right here. Here's my decibel meter. Um, I've used this in the past in other videos. It's a little bit cold. I've had it in my pocket. Hopefully it's warmed up enough to where we can actually see the display. Yeah, you can see that a little better now. Now according to this, hopefully we can... All right, now I'm not exactly 20 feet away, but I'm getting 64 or 65 as my reading. Sometimes jumping up to 70. Now let's get closer just so we can get a read on how loud it really is at idle. So even at idle, right next to the tailpipe, I've only got about 80, 84, 85. So I am in compliance as far as California is concerned with the muffler. Now let's try it with the exhaust cutout open. That's a little louder. And I can actually feel this as it's running. And even here, well, there it is dipping up to 90. But even here, it's like 70. And I'm not even quite 20 feet away. Let's get closer. Okay, I'll rev it up both with the muffler and without the muffler. We're not that far away from the car, so technically we're not measuring it at the legal distance, whatever. But I'm going to rev it up to 2000 RPM with the cutout closed running through the muffler. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the cutout open just so we see what kind of noise we're looking at. That's 2,000 RPM through the muffler. Now, with no muffler. Also 2,000 RPM. Sorry, sorry I had to do that. Now let's talk about it. Okay, that was interesting. Now I know my tester is cold, but this is the tester that I'm using. I'll link it down in the description. It's a reputable brand. I mean, as far as sound and all that stuff goes. So this should be an accurate uh, measure. 
And even at that 2000 RPM test that I did it, I'd say eight feet away, if that, uh, I am still within compliance, even with no muffler at all at 2000 RPM. Well, just barely. But through my muffler, I'm, I'm in the 70s as far as decibels go. Apparently, according to the law, it's 95 decibels that they're looking for. So that's where you get the ticket. Now, there's a few things I don't like about this law. Well, actually, there's several things I don't like about this law. First of all, we now know that according to this, my Fairmont is in compliance as long as I keep the uh, exhaust cutout closed. And even if I open it, as long as I'm not a jerk about it. Now I understand. Okay, need for exhaust laws. I like the sound of a nice engine, but if it's three o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to sleep and a loud engine wakes me up out in front of my house or sets off car alarms going down the street, yeah, sure, dick move for sure. But, and, and I don't want that. I, you know, I want peace and quiet in my life. I get it. There's other people in the world. We have to respect that. But in many ways, this feels like a money grab to me. And, and I say that because of a few things. Uh, number one, it's not, it wasn't exactly clear on how they're gonna perform this testing. Are the cops gonna run around with these and say, oh, okay, um, you're not in compliance. And, and that's the thing. I mean, is this one more thing that they can look at us and say, ah, they look like they're up to no good. Sounds like that exhaust is a little bit loud, so now I have probable cause to pull you over. You know, it's up to the officer's discretion. So, you know, if, if they don't like your looks or whatever, they can knock you for one of these. The other thing I don't like about this is that the fine, according to that article that I linked from SEMA last time, is only 25 bucks. But after you get done with the fees, that adds up well over $100. And in some places I've heard even more. That's why it feels like a money grab because it's, uh, okay, I realize you need money to run the government and all that kind of thing. But if you start with a fine that doesn't cover the cost of processing that fine, and then you just tack on all these other fees on top of it, it feels, it feels like you're screwing me. I'm sorry, California, that's just how it feels. It feels like, you know what? I don't like the way your car sounds. Now I'm gonna tax you for it right there on the spot. Okay, you know, <laughs> it, it, that doesn't feel like freedom to me. And I've mentioned this in other videos before. I don't, I don't think we're too far away from the motor law. And you know, we might get there sooner rather than later. So I'm gonna try to build as many of these things as I can before I can't anymore. And hopefully they will be grandfathered in. And we'll see what happens from there. But anyway, uh, I just thought, I, somebody brought this up in the comments and honestly, I had this thought. I'm thinking, what if I'm driving through California and uh, you know, the cops see me or hear me and say, you know what? Uh, Mr. Car Guy, we're, we're gonna find you because your exhaust is too loud. I can be like, eh, I got this video. <laughs> I wonder if that'll work out. Anyway, I, you know, I appreciate your thoughts. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've had experience with this law directly. I'd really like to know, you know, on the street level, what exactly is happening with this? Because if you watch the last video, you see that it's really the same law that's been on the book since 2003, except for they can nail you on the spot instead of sending you off to a testing center or something like that. Love to get your input on this. It seems that a lot of us are fired up about it. If you have automotive questions, ericthecarguy.com, that will be linked down in the description. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, so please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do all those things that help make a living. Really appreciate that. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you next Monday with another ETCG1 video. Bye-bye.